Hello and welcome to today's MyMiniMaths.co.uk video tutorial. And today we're going to be multiplying a four digit number by a two digit, digit number and a three digit number by another three digit number using the formal written methods for multiplication. And first of all we're going to look at question one which is 2198 and we're multiplying that by 39. So, let's place our lines in. Again, some people like to place the magic zero in first for the tens column. So, onto the units. Nine times eight, which is 72, carry the seven into the tens. We have nine times nine, 81, which is a square number, 81 plus the seven is 88. Carry the eight into the hundreds. Nine times one is nine, plus the eight is 17. Carry into the thousands. And then finally, nine times two is 18, plus the one is 19. So that's the units completed. Next, we're gonna move on to the tens column. Now we've already placed our magic zero in here. So we can move on now to three times eight, which is 24, carry into the hundreds. 3 times 9 is 27, plus the 2 is 29, carrying to the thousands. 3 times 1, which is 3, plus the 2, which is 5. And then 3 times the 2, which is 6. So we have 60,000 there. And then we add together. So we have 2 plus 0, which is 2 units. 8 tens and 4 tens are 12 tens, carrying into the hundreds. We've got 700 and 900, which is 1,600, plus the 100, that's 1,700, carrying into the thousands. Then we have 9,000 and 5,000, which is 14,000, plus the extra one, that's 15,000, carrying into the 10,000s. And then finally, we have 10,000, add 60,000, add the extra 10,000 down here, for 80,000 for a final answer of 85,722. And next we're on to question two, which is 8,113. And we're going to multiply that by 26. Now if I place my lines in, and again, you may like to place the magic zero in, ready for the tens column. So let's look at the units. So we're going to multiply six by three, which is 18, carrying into the tens. Six times one is six, plus the one is seven. Then six times one again, which is six. And then six times eight, which is 48, carrying into the ten thousands. Nothing left to do. So we just write that in there for 40,000. That's the units completed. Next onto the tens, we have our magic zero ready. So two times three is six, two times one is two, two times one again is two, and two times eight is 16. Then we can add them together. So that's eight units and zero units, that's eight. Seven tens and six tens, that's 13 tens, carrying into the hundreds. Then we have 600 and 200, which is 800 plus the one, 900. 8,000 and 2,000, which is 10,000, carrying into the 10,000s. Then we have 40,000 and 60,000, that's 100,000, plus the extra one, that's 110,000, carrying into the uh, 100,000s. So finally, we have 200,000 here, for a final answer of 210,938. And next we're on to question three, and this time we're going to be multiplying by a three digit number. It's no different, uh, no more difficult, just an extra row that we need to include for the hundreds column. So, let's have a look at the question. We have 435, and we're going to multiply that by 934. And what we'll do is we'll build this question as we go along. So first of all, we're going to look at the units. So that's four times five is 20, carrying into the tens. Four times three is 12, plus the two is 14, carrying into the hundreds. And then four times four is 16, plus the one makes 
it's 17. That's completing the units. Now, on to the tens. So, because we're multiplying by 10, we need to include a magic zero to make everything 10 times larger. Because we're not multiplying by 3, we are actually multiplying by 30. So we place a 0 in first, so then we can go 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 3 is 9, plus the 1 is 10. 3 times 4 is 12, plus the 1 is 13. That's our 10s completed. And then finally, we're going to move on to multiplying by the 100s column. 900 in this case. Now, because we're multiplying by 100, we need to include two magic zeros to make everything 100 times bigger, pushing those numbers along by two spaces, two spaces larger. So, 9 times 5 is 45, carrying into the thousands. 9 times 3 is 27, plus the 4, that's 31. And finally, 9 times 4 is 36, plus the 3, is 39 and then all we need to do is add them all together so we have 0 0 and 0 and 0 units 4 tens and 5 tens and 9 tens for 90 700 and 500 is 1200 carrying into the thousands 1000 3000 1000 and this extra one down here is 6000 then we have 10,000 and 90,000, which is 100,000. Carrying over into our last column, which is 300,000 plus the extra 100,000 here for 400,000. So that's a final answer of 406,290. And finally, we're on to our last question of today, which is question four. That's 783. And I'm going to multiply that by 215. Place our lines in. Now, unlike before, we may decide to place our magic zero in for the tens column, and then our two magic zeros for our hundreds column first. Just maybe helps us with, uh, just in case we forget to include them. So first of all, the units, 5 times 3 is 15, carrying into the tens, 5 times 8 is 40, plus the 1 is 41, 5 times 7 is 35, plus the 4 is 39, that's the units completed. Next, we're on to the tens, nice and easy this one, we've got 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 7 is 7, that's the tens completed. And then finally, we're going to move on to the hundreds column, which is multiplied by 200. We've already included our two magic zeros here. So here we go. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 8 is 16. Carrying over. And then 2 times 7 is 14, plus the extra 1 is 15. And then we're going to add them all up. So the units... 5 plus 0 plus 0 is 5. Then we have 10, add 30 is 40. 900, 800 and 600 is going to be 2,300. Carrying into the thousands. Then we have 3,000, 7,000 and 6,000. That's going to be 1,600 plus the extra 2,000. That's 1,800. And then we're going to add... The 50,000 and the 10,000 to make 60,000. And then we have the simple 100,000 in there for a final answer of 168,345. Thank you very much for listening today. And I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.